Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Q&A with VA. I'm Sarah. This is Clint Hansen. Hello. We are here to answer your questions and we're super happy to do it. Clint? Yes. How are you doing? Pretty good. Yeah? We had such a long weekend. We did. Tell me about your weekend. Did you do anything fun and exciting? Yeah. Yeah, 4th of July was a lot of fun. A lot of time with the kids. Ooh. Alright. This takes the kick. Went to a friend's house to watch the fights on Saturday night. So I go to a gas station. When I come out, I'm looking behind the car, and it looks like there's like a hose split or something, right? I'm like, oh man, what happened? So I get up closer, there's a kitty cat under my car, dead. What? Yeah, just sucked up on the rear end, okay? There's like some sort of hole that's got its head st stuck through. Oh my god. So anyhow, we go over to, so my wife's like, oh, we gotta get it out, but I don't know who we call it. I'm about to watch these fights, and I'm not dealing with it right then. So one of my best friends when I was young, she was really excited to hear about it, so her and all of our daughters, my wife, they go outside, they're gonna get this cat out. So while we're in the side, the men watching fights, these strong women are outside trying to get this cat out. They're tugging on it, they got, they have all sorts of tools to try to get this cat out. So basically it had its, I don't know what it was doing, but it, it had its head through a hole in the axle or something like that, and it must have lost control and hung itself, so it was terrible. It was like some pet cemetery stuff. Oh my god! So long story short, they tried very hard, they, they did all sorts of stuff, super proud of them, but in the end we had to come out with the shovel and kind of push it out, and then it finally flopped out. But man, what an experience, and it was a really good story. That happened. Wow. Right? That's crazy. That's interesting. It was. It's just it's there's always just something. Anyway. Juicy stuff. We got questions? <laughs> You're so energized right now. It's kind of <laughs> it's kind of morbid. That story got me. I'm, oh. I haven't slept in a couple days, I'm pretty tired. But uh no, that story got just, you excited. It did. It was funny. Yeah, I mean it, it's, I'm sad because the cat died, but I'm not really a cat person. Yeah, I got a problem. They, they don't have eyebrows. You don't know what they're, you know what they're feeling. You don't know That's what they're the doing. Thing, dogs, the dogs who do sad stuff or whatever. And I think they evolved it even more. I read something that. that so said do that. you find me very trustworthy because I have very expressive eyebrows? Correct. Awesome. Clint, we have questions. Excellent. Great. Our question, our first question is from our friend, and we have two questions. Okay. Two questions. Brace okay. yourselves for two questions. So our first question is from our friend, the real Vader. All right. I'm a little concerned for this person that they consider themselves the real Vader. Hopefully, they're not truly the dark side. Anyway, like okay. It. The real Vader asks, "How about some lightweight nine millimeter AR barrels? Maybe a Hanson type profile?" Hmm. hmm. They're pretty lightweight already. So if you think about the shorter versions, you know they're they're a little stocky, I guess. But uh, for what they are, they're pretty lightweight. And you got to remember that nine millimeter. That bore is pretty thick, so there's not a whole lot of material around it. So take that into consideration. The 11 inch, we kind of mirrored a 10 and a half inch barrel on that because a lot of people when they build that, they want it to practice with nine millimeter because it's a little more affordable. So we kind of mirrored the government 10 and a half inch profile on that, but it's 11 inches, remember, because the extension is back, so. And then moving on to this, like a 16 inch or something. Well, that one's kind of a straight profile and it's pretty lightweight already. The reason I'm describing all that for you is nine millimeters are blowback system, so in order to make a barrel of Hanson, we're kind of looking at it from a harmonic standpoint and that barrel needing to, you know, have a, a specific gas gas block journal seat and then the profile itself working with a, a DI or direct impingement setup, okay? The other thing is you get an 11 degree target crown, uniform barrel extension, and a pinwheel profile gas block in every Hanson. So you don't, none of those things apply to a 9mm. It's all machined out of one piece. I don't think we'll see anything like that, but uh, I don't know, maybe we can figure out some, some some sort of way to do that possibly, but yeah, that if we don't have it now, that's why. Okay, mm -hmm. awesome. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. You're welcome. Our second question is from our friend Young Rel, 1987. Okay. Young Rel asks, love Q&A with VA. Mm -hmm. oh, keep up the great work. I'm currently building a AR pistol in 300 blackout around a BA premium 8.3 barrel, which got me thinking, why not build a 16 inch rig too? So will there be a 16 inch 300 blackout premium series Hanson barrel in the future? Hmm. Um, 416R stainless steel, one and seven twist, five R, maybe one and eight twist for lighter pills. Hmm. What's a pill? He's, he's calling a bullet a, a pill. Oh, a pill, I didn't know that. That's, that's what the cool kids call it? He's, def the he's definitely a cool kid. They call it a pill? He's got an 8.3 inch Hanson already. He's cool in my book. Oh yeah. That's for oh sure. yeah. So, not quite the same answer as the 9mm question, but um, in terms of bore diameter to profile and gas system, kind of the same thing. So, all of our 
All of our 300 blackout barrels are a d uh, distinct rigid pattern, okay? So a DRP barrel um, with a pistol length gas system, okay? In all of our modern series, we've got all the lengths and then in the performance and premium, we have a couple of Hansen op offerings in shorter versions. Only made those because it's a shorter barrel and even though it's a low pressure round, we wanted that kind of beefier back end and then to kind of slim down with that Hansen profile out in front. So a 16 inch, it's not that it wouldn't benefit from it, but there's not a whole lot of material, and then actually the gas system so far back, and the and the beefiness in that chamber haven't really had a reason to do it. Not that an upgrade isn't possible with the nickel more barrel extension, obviously, and a pin low profile gas block. But um, the modern series barrels are very successful. So, I mean, to to tell you the truth, there's just been not a lot of demand or a lot of questions for it. But totally not impossible. So maybe we'll discuss it for the future. Very nice. Yeah, it's a possibility. Thank you so much, Mr. Hansen. You're welcome. You did a great job answering those questions. Thank you. Thank you so much to our friends for sending those questions. You guys did a great job. Guys, if you like this video, you should definitely give us a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon so you get a notification every time we post a new video. We have new Q&A videos up every Thursday. What, what? Yeah, it's true. And if you want to see Clint Hansen or Jason Demo answer one of your questions, you should definitely comment below. We sure can't wait to see what you guys send us. You did a great job. Thanks, sir. You did too. Thank you. Thank you so much to our friends. <laughs> that was weird. I'm going to start. <laughs> <laughs> We're never weird. Ever. So when we are, we stop everything. But that's all I got. I'm sorry. So what you wanted me to say? That was perfect. You ruined it. That was natural as <laughs> That would have been I, It's smooth, never going to get that real again. Smooth, seamless transition, but nope. And that's all I got. Awesome. Thank you, Mr. Hansen. You're welcome. You did such a good job. Thank you. Thank you so much for our friends who sent your questions. You guys did such a good job. Guys, if you liked this video, give us a big thumbs up. Make you sure liked to it. Sorry. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Clean hands. You liked it. liked it. This is so intimidating. Right. <laughs> You're going to scare our viewers away. All right, keep going. I don't have to clap right. Oh.